Hello, my name is Tori Smith, and uh, this is a report for Wednesday, March 9th, uh, involving uh, the DARPA CIA child trafficking operation. And um, I also would like to add uh, another report about a, it's a, another situation with the CIA and DARPA, um, which is going on uh, in the Middle East. Uh, yesterday, 54 children were murdered in four locations. They were brought to America to be uh, gang raped and murdered into the DARPA CIA child trafficking operation uh, on Wednesday morning about 5 a.m. to Andrews Air Force Base. The children were collected from El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Colombia. And uh, 22 of these children were raped on the way by SOCOM forces, which is uh, called the United States Southern Command. Uh, it is a privately owned child trafficking company, and they're also murderers for hire. Uh, the plane made three stops to pick up these children. Most of them were from orphanages with the promise of leading a better life in the USA. Of course, there is no better life in the USA. It's the most horrific war criminal state in the universe. Uh, SOCOM forces have murdered 13,916 people mostly in South and Central America. They've abducted 3,149 children, mostly in South America, and they raped about 10% of those. The children, uh, now all these children were killed by a group, um, one, one specific group, and I've been having trouble with their name. Seven children were taken to Washington, D.C., my lab number two, and they were gang raped by a group of 87 males men of the United States Senate, the Secret Service, Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, and the State Department, D.C. Police and Army Special Ops. And um, they were killed by reptilians. Um, I was having trouble. There's a star name and the, and I forgot to write down the name of the star. It was like Ax Axis. Uh, um, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. I'm sorry. I just, I forgot to write it down. Uh, they were killed by the, uh, this, there was a group of 16 reptilians that came in on a ship, and while uh, these seven children were murdered at Washington, D.C., 33 of the people watched, because a lot of these men become very sexually aroused when they're watching children be murdered. Dallas, uh, six children were gang-raped by a group of 49 males, 11 Bush clones, um, uh, CEOs and corporate executives, Texas State Police and the Secret Service. And they were also killed by the reptilians uh, while 12 watched. In San Jose, uh, with the Greater Bay Area, it's um, a very large uh, city, uh, you know, San Francisco, Oakland. Uh, four children were gang raped by 31 males, and they were all from the Silicon Valley uh, corporate executives. And then there were a few men from DARPA and the CIA that also raped the children, and they were all killed by these reptilians. And uh, Roswell, 37 of these children were taken there, and they were gang raped by a group of 426 males, um, which was going on all day. I think by the time I did this report, it was a little around midnight that it was finished, uh, Eastern time. Um, all military branches, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, CIA, FBI, DARPA, White House staff members, Pentagon, uh, the child trafficking company called ICE, and also SOCOM. And these children were killed by the 16 reptilians, too. Now, um, you know, I'm sorry. There, they, I, I did get the star name and the, because uh, there's four galaxies involved, Sombrero Galaxy, Rigella, and uh, Rigella is the background galaxy for the star system called Rigel, R-I-G-E-L, here. Rigel is predominantly a reptilian community, the star system, and also there's a lot of amphibians there and insectians. And um, this other galaxy um, is, uh, I think it was about, I forget how far, I was supposed to, maybe I probably wrote that down on another page. But um, that's, that, that's where they came from, that group of 16 that killed all these children. Okay, and I'd also like to mention, because there was a newspaper article today, uh, someone asked me to look at Veterans Today last night, um, because they were talking about a specific general, they th felt that Obama had been arrested, 
And um, so I looked at what's going on and what I've seen participated in and assisted in the arrest of, it worked in the people who had the lowest vibration were arrested first and removed. And, um, and it went up. And then there was another group. There was one group after another. And, um, and we went higher and higher. And then recently there was the 819 who were arrested. And those were people that could be recognized. Because most of the entities, most people didn't recognize because they were behind the scenes. And, you know, they all, the reptilians literally are monsters. Not, not the galactic ones, but the, the dark entity ones. And so, of course, they're never going to be shown in public. They're not going to. They're not going to show a reptilian, you know, come out and speak to the public because it would be, you know, it would be too much for people to handle. And, um, but what happened was, because they asked me to look, because they, they thought everybody heard Obama had been arrested. Obama will be arrested. There's three corporate executives that have a vibration lower than Obama. Obama's now murdered 280 children. If you remember, George H. W. Bush murdered over 500 children well over 500 children while raping them. And he's been arrested. I think five members now of the Bush family have been uh, tried. Their trials are over. And it's not like trials here. There's no such thing as attorneys or win or lose. It doesn't work like that. It's not that kind of a trial. What it works is that the person is lifted up to the next higher dimension, up to the fifth dimension, and they witness the crimes that they committed. Like Barbara Bush sat there and watched all the children die that she murdered. She watched the children be murdered by her husband while he was raping them. And she asked uh, for, um, well, I forget what it's called, uh, asked for help. Like, please don't kill me. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? That I hate her so much. And I'm sorry, but anyway... What came up, uh, The Guardian, the Veterans Today had done a story about The Guardian, which really caught my attention, because I'd like to translate this story for you. Um, the, the, the caption on Veterans Today was, U.S. forces captured the head of CIA weapons. Okay, now, there's a man who worked for the CIA. His name is Sleeman Alfari. And in The, in the Guardian, they're saying that he worked for Saddam Hussein, and uh, he created biological and chemical weapons. Okay, what his DNA says is that he created three weapons, two of them biological and one of them chemical. But that he created those weapons at the London My Lab Number 2, which is operated, you know, by DARPA and the CIA. Um, Sleeman Alfari, uh, his, uh, he's on the CIA payroll. And um, they wanted to uh, do something about, they said they captured the head, there was something else in there about capturing the head of the Islamic State. And once again, translation, 100% of the Islamic State is paid for, guess who? By the CIA. They're all in CIA payroll. And um, they like to, that's how they make a bad guy, like they gave Saddam Hussein a bunch of weapons and they said, oh, hey, guess what? He's got a bunch of weapons. He's a bad guy. Well, guess where the weapons came from? The United States. And, uh, and then also said in the article, there's a general named Joseph Votel who went to Congress or Senate or whatever. And um, he, quote, unquote, he was concerned about the actions against the CIA in Syria um, because... They were moving weapons, they, the article has said they were moving weapons from Turkey into Syria. But what the article, translation, but the article didn't tell you, is guess who paid for the weapons? The CIA bought the weapons into Turkey, and then the weapons were moved from Turkey to Syria. Bought and paid for by the CIA. The CIA was the one who moved the weapons into Turkey, and the CIA was the one who moved the weapons into Syria. And um, it's rather convenient when uh, the same people pay for all sides. You know, if there's a war going on and there's four different armies, guess what? They're all paid by the same people. And uh, a lot of the times the people that are fighting aren't really smart enough to figure that out. But this guy, Joseph Votel, uh, is, he has 156 strands of DNA activated at 0% sacred light. He's raped 117 children, which is very common because virtually all uh, members of the military are now raping children. And 100% of the top brass are raping children. This guy raped 79 girls and 31 boys, all aged 5 to 9. He has individually murdered 2,145 people. 
And that's why he was speaking to uh, Congress, because he's a hero. And, um, you know, it just goes to show that uh, the, the spin that, you know, it's funny because I wish everybody could just go to the evidence and read. And because basically what you'd, you'd see, you'd, because the truth never changes, that's why I keep telling people, I wish you'd create an intent to connect to the truth because the truth never changes. And all these war crimes that are being committed, guess who? DARPA, CIA, FBI, ICE, AFRICOM, uh, SOCOM, it's all the same side. The United States, Europe, Russia, China, Australia, Japan. They're all on the same side. And I just wanted to share with you what I see. And I hope that eventually some people uh, can learn how to connect to evidence and read it for themselves. Thank you for your prayers for uh, asking the universe to close down this child trafficking operation. Uh, that's what's most important for me. I wish I had more time to go read other people, other war criminals, um, a DNA. But I believe that we are coming up to, uh, before I had said that the 600,000 were going to be arrested, but as it turns out, it was over 6,000 uh, people that were not from Earth. They were from four different galaxies. Well, some of them were from the Milky Way, the 14th planet of Beta Kansari. Uh That's the same star system where the Anunnaki are. Most of them, because a lot of them live in the planet Nibiru, which is out past the planet Xanta, where the um, Nibiru are, which is like 32 million miles past uh, Pluto. And if you want to know, what you ever heard of that thing called the Goldilocks effect or whatever, like, the, oh, the Earth is here and there can be water on the surface, and so therefore it can have life. And so scientists go out and they look, which is all bullshit because NASA lies about everything, and they go out and pretend that, oh, oh life can only exist you know, on Earth, you know, could never exist anywhere else, not, you know, the 800 million species or whatever. But that whole thing, because a lot of planets generate their own heat, most people live inside the planets. Um, like if you look at Jupiter, the four main moons, they're all inhabited. Where do the people live? Inside. There's a lot of volcanic activity. It heats the planet. There's an inner star, and uh, they have a full ecosystem inside. Uh, the plants generate uh, the air that people need to breathe, and uh, that's how, and then the Battlestar planet of Nibiru, which is way, way, way out there, you know, and it's in a stationary orbit, and they're under um, uh, quarantine. They're not allowed to move except for the stationary orbit as part of their uh, agreement when they chose to move into the light, which I believe was 96. It was the mid-90s when the Anunnaki struck a deal. They took the immunity deal offered to them and walked away, and that's, not, that's why they're not being prosecuted for anything. And also, if you'd like to know where the Bush family trials occurred, it's called Aeron, A-E-R-O-N, and it's a very uh, nearby galaxy, and it's all been recorded because it will be televised soon across uh, the planet Earth. Thank you. God bless your hearts. Have a nice day.